Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you 10 option infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created five layers uh, with the color shading from light to dark. And then on the left side, I have put the option A to E and the right side, I have put option F to J and with the title, detail text and the icons here. And on the second slide, I have added the animation. When I click, it will show you the first option, the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So let's see how to create this 10 option infographic slide in PowerPoint. Go to insert tab, shapes, select a rectangle, make the height as 0.9, and the width as 3.6 shape outline make it no outline and just say align center then i'm going to go insert again shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle this much size again shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate it and I'm going to give a different color to it and make sure that press ctrl D and the size of this is the same here so this is the same size doesn't matter so just I'm going to move it a little bit this one and this is make it outside and then you can select the blue rectangle and then the gray go to merge shape and just say subtract and you got this shape just bring it here and i'm just going to cut this also go to insert shapes and select one rectangle and I'm going to cut this part so select this press ctrl D bring the other side and rotate just say flip horizontal and put it something like this so you got this shape I'm going to increase the size of this a little bit I'll just make it something this much size and then select these three objects go to format merge shape and say union and i will just delete this and bring this here and put it till the end then i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape first of all i'm going to make this as a gray color the background and this one I'm going to give this particular color and shadow I'm going to give a shadow offset top and then press ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to change this color to a somewhat dark color I'll select this color and put it here and then just say send to back again press ctrl D and then they send to back so this is third this is fourth again send to back and this is fifth send to back and then you can keep on changing the colors And you have to make sure that there should not be any uh, white spaces or blanks left here. Maybe I can just select this one, increase the size a little bit. And this also I'll increase the size a little bit. And this one also. 
and then I'm going to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle at this corner and shape outline make it no outline and set gradient fill by default I have used the first light this is coming like this so what you can do is I have used three options here let me just do it again for you I'll just put a solid fill maybe say I'm just going to select uh, this color then I'm going to select a gradient color where I'm going to just delete this all maybe this is also black for example so what you have to do is first of all select this as black color and the second one make it a uh, white and transparency make it to 100 percent and still you can see there are some white here and click here add one more and this also transparency make it 100 percent and this white increase the transparency level you got this shape now and then this effect press ctrl d to duplicate and bring the other side but before that rotate it flip horizontal and put it here so you can see here you got this shape now and if you want to add some white outlines here to do that one what i did is i just selected this one press ctrl d to duplicate it shape fill make it white and then just send this to back you can see here just a little bit of white ctrl d again you can do it for this one second one i'll just copy this here ctrl d let me just bring to the second one sorry and send back and bring this down you can see here only have to give a very uh, little visibility of the white this also sent to back slowly one by one and bring it down we can just do like that so once you have done that one then what we can do is i will just put maybe this is for the last one I have to just increase the size a little bit because we have increased the size or if it is not fitting you can just select this ctrl D make it white and then just send to back and then you can use this one a lighter here also for this also you can do the same thing here so the next step is to add the text and the icons so here you can see i have added all the white uh, uh, borders and then i'm going to insert the icons for that go to insert click on icons and you can just select any good icons here maybe which icons are better or what are the icons which you feel better you can just add one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten go to insert click insert and make this as let me just bring it here graphic fill white and I'm going to make it 0.3 and start adding one by one here
so i have added all the icons now now i need to add the text go to insert text i'll just say this is a or you can make it b or one two three also make it bold center align or left align let it be and make it white and put this as a control d to duplicate it this is b c sorry d and e then i'm going to select all this make sure that this is align left control d to duplicate it and bring this side and this will be sorry f g h i and j and here you can add your own text now you can add a title and the text i'm just going to add your text here maybe you can center a line reduce the size make it off white or light gray and put it here just align it and then i'm going to select this control d and put it here and if you want you can add uh, your own text here or you can add some image also and if you like to do the animation you can do the animation for this if you like to do the animation you have to just group this first i'll just group this control g then i'll select the second option control g then i'll just select the third option this is i have to select till down control g then i will select this option control g and then the last control g to group it so you can see here i have made different different groups then you can add any animation to it you can go to animations enable the animation pane select the first one for example if you want to do a a fly in it will come like this or a float in it will come something like this for example float in then i'll select animation painter double click then i'm going to click on the second then i'll click on third the fourth and the fifth and press escape now if you play it will come this first one second third fourth fifth That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.